it's not that I want to get high, I go on autopilot. And, and the next thing I know, there I am. People lose their jobs and they don't have an income uh, and, and they have children to feed. I can imagine how depressing that must be for those parents. Prior to this, you were sending out a group all together. They were going and knocking on doors. We've had to pivot and shift to assisting individuals with uh, applying for unemployment, filing previous tax years so that they could get their stimulus check, um, and really looking for potential employers that are actually still operating. Right about the time the, the stimulus checks started arriving in, in people's mailboxes, we saw an uptick in, in overdose deaths. Give these individuals copious amounts of money without a real uh, adaptive way to spend it. It gets spent on, on drugs and other maladaptive things. They're turning blue, you're going to kind of lean their head back a little bit, and you're going to take this and you're going to inject it into one nostril. Alcohol is still the number one abused uh, substance and it, it is having really disparaging health outcomes in the long run and including in West Virginia. You know that I would be more than happy to like meet you personally and if, you know go to a meeting with you to help you feel more comfortable. People with substance use disorder right now are inside of an epidemic with a pandemic going on on the outside.